I'm Anthony Gagliardi, MLF Pro. I want to talk to you today about a, a bait from Berkeley that, that I really, really like to throw in the, in the fall transition part of the year when we're starting to transition from summer to fall, and that's the, the Berkeley Power Bait, uh, Power Jerk Shad. I've done really well, and I've won a lot of money in, in summertime tournaments as well as wintertime tournaments, and even on in, you know, even into the, like I said, even into the winter. So summer, winter, and fall, you can take this one bait and basically rig it the same way like I like to rig it. It's efficient and it's useful in all those seasons. Basically, the, it comes down to speed. In the summertime, I like to fish it fast. And to do that, you have to use a weighted hook. It has to be some type of belly weighted hook like this. And that's just gonna allow that bait to come through the top of the water. I really don't want it breaking the surface that much unless the fish are schooling. I like to fish um, the power jerk shad on either a seven foot or seven foot two medium heavy. This one's actually a seven foot two Medium heavy is one of my rods, the level 7.2 MH. Um, I try to get away with the lightest line that I can, just because personally I feel like I get more bites. So 12 pound fluorocarbon line, and then a, a faster tree reel. This is our Abu Garcia Premier 7.3 to one, and a 7.3 to one is the minimum. Like that, that's the minimum I'm gonna throw it on. Biggest thing that people miss when they're trying to fish with a bait like this is they fish it slow. And a lot of the fish that we fish for nowadays are they're just accustomed to seeing a lot of lures. You know, they're, they're wary of, of baits, they're pressured, and the faster you can fish it, honestly, usually the better. Like I like to sweep my rod tip is, you can't wind that bait as fast as I can pull it doing that. And so if you wanted to try to burn your bait with just a real handle, you can't get the speed that you can get with this rod tip like that. So that's the way I like to fish it um, when the fish are suspended. More probably in the summertime, you know, there may be some schooling fish and things like that. Just really react well to it, and you can cover so much water doing it that way that it's just a great way to fish it. Now, as a starting point, you know, just look for your main lake points, your main lake humps, anywhere that there's bait around, it's an effective bait to use. So I just try to keep it simple and, and fish those two things and, and just be always looking. You know, while I'm fishing, I'm constantly scanning. I'm looking around, I'm listening. You know, you hear fish break. Sometimes you just hear shad. Um, but all those little things can clue you in. And, and make the difference between just a mediocre day and a really successful one.